That's forest. What's the matter, Forrest? What's the matter, Forrest? So you scared me off. Look at all the wild deer out there. They hear carrots crunching. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wild deer. She step on your foot. Now Lucy's gonna get her some peanuts. She put some uh, peanuts. It's funny, sometimes she eats the hull and all, and other times she eats just the peanut, spits the hull out. Oh, there's Whitey. Whitey heard carrots crunching. You can throw carrots out on the ground, and the wild deer, and obviously Whitey. Chris actually fed Whitey, he was born in a pen, fed Whitey carrots when he was a little baby. When he was just a little fawn, him and his brother. His brother is uh, still in the pen with a bunch of does. Whitey gets to chase his does on the outside. I think they love you, babe. <laughs> but they ought to. <laughs> That's why I love you. You feed me three times a day, too. Well, mostly twice here lately. But I've lost a lot of weight. We can't do that yet. I need to lose 10 more pounds. Oh, not 10 more. I do. I need to lose 10 more. It's been a slow process. South Fresh Deer Food, they eat a lot of it. One of them put their muddy feet up on the chair, didn't it? It didn't look like it. It looked like or something. I bet it was Lucy. Forrest said, I'll get over here. Jenny says, I'll just come over here and eat out of the eat out of the bowl. I, I wouldn't give them much corn. You know, a lot more. About three to one, probably, South Fresh to corn. South fresh is a lot better for them. Put a little corn in their in their fish uh, fish bowl also. Got a little corn in there too. That's funny. Throw the rest of it out there to the wild deer. <coughs> Throw them a scoop of corn. Watch them go over there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Look at Whitey. Look at Whitey. You can train. You know, that's how women that have had us guys for 50, 60 years, that's exactly how they train us right there. They use something like food or something else to train us to act exactly the way they want us to act. And we do it. We're just about like old Whitey down there. Well, one horn whitey, we're about the same. Look at all of them down there. Those deer, we go through a lot of South Fresh feed, a uh, couple of pallets every couple of weeks, about a pallet a week probably. It's just absolutely great deer food. I ordered a, uh, a feeder, another Texas Hunter ground feeder, the, just like that one out there that throws out in one direction, Three, holds 300 pounds of feed. <laughs> I ordered another one for my daughter, uh, Sherry, and her husband, Jack. They have a feeder in her yard, a tripod feeder, but Sherry just doesn't want Jack crawling up on the back of a mule and filling that feeder all the time. We got the herd here, Lucy and the herd, five of them, and down there's the wild deer. Pretty wild, huh? About ten of them. You know, I've been watching that, uh, that deer... Uh, up in Maine, uh, the Deer Pantry. I've been subscribed to that for a while. I'm not a member. I don't know how you become a member where I can make comments or I'd comment on some of those deer. It's just fascinating to watch them. They've got live cameras running. We may try to figure out how to do that and have members also. That way y'all can tune in and watch a deer anytime you want, not just once a week Friday uh, video that, <coughs> that Chris does. But anyway... They uh, they love to eat. That's all I can say. They love to eat. And, whoa, something scared them. I can't believe that TC hadn't come around. TC is uh, probably up. Apache's putting out alfalfa about this time of the day. They get pretty aggressive. You see that one down there fighting the other one? Uh, you see some of that in that deer, deer pantry uh, show also. Those guys are fascinating that do that. They go through an awful lot of food. I guess that's why they... 
have to charge it. I don't know if they charge for a membership or not, but I know I, I wanted to make some comments, three more and I couldn't chat. It's probably about time for the feeder. Oh, uh, there's some more deer coming in. Like Chris said, it's probably about time for that feeder to go off, and so three just came up to the feeder. Four. Or four. They might hear the crunching also. Crunching, 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 crunching is like a pop top on a beer to an alcoholic. He can hear it for a mile away. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know anything about beer or alcoholics. <laughs> Sounded good. Sounded something like Gerald Swindle would say. My buddy Gerald, great fisherman. All right, guys. I'm going to turn this video off. Y'all not too exciting just eating. See, well, that's what we do. We are deer. We eat. We have humans that are our monkeys that take care of us and feed us. All right, what a great way to start the week. Mondays are good for y'all, aren't they? Boomer Sooner beat Kansas last week. That, boys and girls, is my buddy Whitey. Hi, Whitey, how you doing this morning? Uh, I noticed early this morning that Whitey lost his other antler. And yes, I do know that it's antlers. I know that it's antlers and, uh, well, yeah, hey, Whitey, come here, baby. He's a little embarrassed. I think he just sort of acts like he is, but you know that might just be that just might be the uh, the humanness. You see him walking down there; he's walking away. I've actually already this morning <clears throat> made a big long walk all out in that area there and all down on the point looking for that other that other side uh, of his antlers. Uh, you notice he's got the red tag in his left ear. He's tagged wrong when he was born last year. We uh, we thought he was a little girl. <laughs> And now he looks like a little girl. He looks like a big girl. He's a real big deal. You see how tall he is. He looks skinny, but he's really not. He's gained some weight since, uh, since the rut. He got down really, really skinny. I think he got sick. I think when all the deer had pneumonia, I think he caught pneumonia also. And I actually was able to get up close enough to him uh, in the wild two or three different times and gave him a, a, a high dollar shot and uh, got, him through, got him through all that, got him through the... Uh, Got him through the pneumonia, and he's fine now, and he's gaining weight back. And I, I hope he bred some girls. He was out chasing some girls, so he probably did. Um, but, uh, you know, I wanted to talk to somebody because we've had a lot of questions on there about about deer losing their, their antlers. And, uh, and by the way, the deer lose antlers every year, and they grow back. Horns, of course, do not. Horns grow just one time. And we know in the south, just so all y'all Yankees will know, you've been telling me all along for the last couple of years, we know the difference between horns and antlers, but if you grow up in the South, deer horns are deer horns, exactly what they are. Now, they, we know they're antlers, but uh, that they are deer horns. You're, when you're a little bitty kid, you start calling them deer horns, and uh, that's just the way it is. <laughs> that's the way it'll always be. That's just a redneck deal. But, but they lose those every single year. Now, that was his very first uh, antlers. He's only 18 months old. Uh, well, he was born, uh, I guess, in May, so whatever that is, May to now add a year to it. But he's about 18 months old. But deer lose those antlers every single year. There's a lot of animals that don't, and elk does also. Amazingly, they grow back, and generally, they grow back larger. It's an amazing thing. It's one of the fastest growing things in the, in the wildlife world is deer horns, or deer antlers, I guess I should say. And it's amazing, and we'll watch him throughout the spring. Y'all uh, tune in. We'll we'll try to get some uh, video of him growing. We'll never definitely get some of little uh, of little rangers' horns growing out. We'll get some of uh, of uh, Forrest's horns growing. Now Forrest is a, is a high class, high bred, high DNA deer, and he can have some pretty nice horns this year, like six or eight point. But we'll watch. We'll watch also. We'll watch. Uh, why these horns growing back if he keeps hanging around the house he may not we'll watch tc tc still has both of his horns those are the real big ones looks like the hartford deer and he still has his horns he sure does but uh they will start growing back and we will as the uh, as the spring and summer goes on we'll watch them grow their horns they'll be in what they call velvet we'll explain that to you as we go through so those of you that are not seeing deer horns grow throughout the spring we're going to let you watch them on Hopefully several different bucks. Hopefully Whitey's one of them because he ought to grow back. Hi, baby. You heard me talking around here and you had to come and see me, didn't you? That's my girl. How about a little morning sugar for me? She's already had her private breakfast. She's already had gone around and had the breakfast with the herd. She has her private breakfast on the front deck and then she comes around with her babies, the twins and the triplets, and uh, and has her uh, has her another breakfast. So you get two breakfasts every morning. 
That's why you're getting so big and pretty and big and fat. And uh, hopefully, of course, we'll have some more babies born in the woods. And we have really cleaned the place up this year, but a lot of this will grow back a lot by May and June. We've burned everything and the grass will be a little bit higher out there. We won't mow any of that. So by May and June, hopefully she'll have her babies around relatively close where we can find them again. May not, may not. Jenny also may have a baby this year. If she does, we may take that baby away from her since she's uh, uh, just uh, be her first babies and she's not really old enough to have babies. She's not even a year old. She'll just be a year old come, uh, I guess, May. Come May, she'll be a year old. And uh, so she will probably have to take a baby away from her and raise it by uh, on a bottle in order to get that baby to survive. If they have them when they're less than a year old or a year old, uh, normally those babies, only about 20% of them survive. They're just not yet ready to be a mama, even though they are. And so, but anyway, that's the story of, uh, that's the story of what happens when the, the deer lose their antlers. Whitey has lost both of his. We'll watch TC. I went out and took a walk around this morning. I believe, I, I can't believe I, I got two white antlers out there now and, and I can't find either one of them. Why don't you become a shed lab, lab or deer? You need to be a shed lab or deer. That's right. That's what you need to be. And that way you could come and you could come and go find those sheds and pick them up and bring them back to me. She says, I'm not interested in none of that stuff. All I want to do is eat and love on you. That's all I want to do is eat and love on you. That's all I want to do. All right, guys and girls, that's the story about deer shedding their antlers. Elk do too. As big as the elk horns are, or antlers are, they grow back and they normally grow back bigger. It's going to be interesting to watch Whitey's grow. It's going to be interesting to watch TC's. Little Ranger and Forrest, we'll watch them all over the next few months. Guys and girls, have you a great one out there today. I love Lucy. Come on. I don't really know what's going on, but there's a lot of running going on. First, I saw Lucy take off. And she was running like crazy the other direction. And then everybody else ran. I think they're just running just to be running, maybe. Maybe trying to warm themselves up. I don't know. Of course, every time you come out with a camera when they're running, they quit and stop and look at you. Here comes somebody. That's the two babies. Oh, here comes one of the babies. Boy, they can run like the wind. He went, she went clear across the, the ditch and kept going. Here comes one coming back. Here comes one of the babies again. That was Ranger. Oh my goodness. That's Jenny. Run, Jenny, run. She's feeling her oats. What are you doing, Jenny? Huh? What are you doing? You getting warmed up? Here's Nina standing here wondering what in the heck's going on. There's a ranger out there. There he goes again. Jenny acts like she's kind of got it in for him. Jenny better be careful. She'll be getting in trouble. my baby. Here they come around the other way. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? That's not Jenny. That's, uh, who are you?
that's uh, forest. There's Lucy, she's just not getting back. I can't even tell who everybody is. They also change it in size, so. Hey, quit that. That's forest. This one decided she needs a drink of water. I don't know what all that was about. But I know I'm cold. I'm going back inside. Go. Well, we just noticed that Lucy has not eaten her breakfast, which is unusual. Even if she doesn't eat it all, for sure she's always going to eat her carrots and her peanuts. But it's all still there. She's been here on the porch all morning. And would you believe that the little girl is wet almost from head to toe? Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Come I just here. rub her. She doesn't want to round her. Come on, Lucy. Come here. Let's see how about a carrot. She really acts like she's traumatized, like something might have run her into a lake. I wonder if a coyote or bobcat's been up here and run her into the water. Yeah. She's, she's been swimming clear up to her neck, so she's been in deep and it's 30 degrees out here she's shivering she's cold obviously for being wet <laughs> she's not having any trouble eating she untraumatized quick with a carrot bag didn't she, yeah, she likes <laughs> to be fast <laughs> <laughs> so i'm not so traumatized maybe it's a trick maybe, uh, uh, lucy are you pulling a trick on chris are you pulling a trick on her rubber underneath the top of her back's not wet <laughs> It's a trick, Lucy. She'll dry out pretty quick. Well, it's cold, it's 30 degrees, and the wind's blowing. You can see the wet spot where she's been standing, so she's very, very wet. Yeah, there's a big wet spot right over there. There's one over in front of the other door. She stood there where she looks in my window and tells me to get my lazy butt out of bed and feed her breakfast. Where have you been, huh? What happened to you? I got in the water. I wonder if something chased her in. She just keeps standing and watching across the lake. So I wonder if she got run out into the lake and then back come back over. That's what we worry about a little bit about her uh, or any of them swimming to the other side of the lake and being lost and not being able to find their way home. They're just like we are. If we get in a strange city or a strange area and get turned around, we don't know any landmarks or any place where... Look at our door where Beamer scratched that door over the years. We could paint it, but it'd be just like that again in a month. <laughs> you need to go get in the hayloft. Yeah, she needs to go get in the alfalfa pile. We have alfalfa out under the lean-to. Big bales, we buy 10 big, she, giant, 150 not just pound. A little wet. She's soaking wet. Oh, she's been, she's had her heads all the way down. She only thing been in out of the top, out of the water is the top of her back. She's been swimming over her head. She hasn't been just down in the water. Lucy, you have carrots in your bowl. I put carrots in your bowl this morning. You don't have to eat all those. You need to but share some of those with your herd. But you didn't feed them to me. You need to share some with the herd. I think she's okay. She just stood and looked and didn't eat her breakfast. I think she'll come over and eat now. I didn't have any grapes. We're out of grapes. You ate them all. I did not eat them all. I, I haven't eaten a grape in three days. I think it was ruining my diet. I think my diet was not not doing too well because of me eating grapes. I don't think the grapes had anything to do with it. Well, they do if you eat a handful every time you walk by the grape bag. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lucy. You're going to be fine, baby. Everything's out. good. It's all good, baby. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. That's your way of saying thank you? Yes, it is. Don't bite my finger.
<laughs> That's my wife saying, thank you, bite, bite, bite your finger. <laughs> it really doesn't matter how many times you see this or how many times I look out there, I am just blown away by the deer. Uh, this is Jenny. I put a new little, that's a very soft ribbon. It looks very tight. It's not. It's uh, just a very soft ribbon. So they'll probably chew it up. It's a little headband, ladies headband type deal. Uh, but you look there, she's laying there. There's Lucy and, uh, and I guess that might be, I don't know if that's a, that's a wild deer. Here's some more deer laying right over here. And until just a second ago, TC, the Hartford buck is what he looks like. The Hartford buck was laying out there also. And then there's a couple more deer laying out there. There's my old suburban that won't stock, won't start. I need to get my buddy Chris Fix, Fix to come down here and go fishing with me. Chris Fix has got a YouTube channel with over 6 million people on it. I need to get him to come down here and get that thing running. It's got a power steering pump messed up. Plus it won't start and I can't find the keys. <laughs> but I bet you Chris Fix can fix it and get it running. But I never get tired of looking at that. That's just amazing there. Uh, Jenny laying here on the on the porch. There's three of them laying right there. That's, uh, that's all wild deer right there. Lucy and Forrest. And the little uh, twins, or uh, the little triplets, two of the three triplets, I think, are right out there. Uh, maybe just one of them. There might be another one behind that tree. I don't know, but then there's old uh, TC. TC still got his horns. You're not gonna have them much longer. Uh, and I'm gonna hunt them down and find them. And, and then you look way out there, way out there past my ram truck. And there's some more deer feeding on that food plot out there. We're gonna be getting uh, some more food plots planted about Easter. We're gonna let y'all help us plant those. But it's just, I never get tired of looking. I guess that's just, a redneck in me, but I just never get tired. And there's my baby, Lucy. We got the neatest gift in the mail yesterday, and I just had to share it with you. This, These are wood carvings done by Jason Howell from Bryson City, North Carolina. They live on Lake Hartwell. And I, isn't that just the sweetest little wooden carved set of Lucy and her family? We just appreciate that so very much. I haven't found a permanent spot to put them, but I just had to take a shot and share them with everybody and just say a special thank you to Jason and Tina Howell.